Hi, this is Looming Wizard, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these cute little frozen yogurt cups. And they have cute little eyes and sprinkles. I use this, the bubble bands for sprinkles. And I think they're really cute, and they're based off my slushy video. So, yes. So, thank, so thanks for watching if you've watched this, and this is based off this one. So, let's get started. And if you don't have bubble bands, you could just use random colors. So what I just did while here was I took double bands. Taking double bands. I'm making the extension now. So double bands are going to go down three times of your loom. And you're going to be needing the staggered configuration, by the way. And then using a single band, I'm using fun loom bands, so wrap that around twice if you have fun loom bands. If you don't wrap, if you have stretchy bands, uh, like rainbow loom bands and stuff, wrap it around three or four times. So then you're going to loop up. And then once you have that, you can just use a holding hook or your hook and just take it off and you're going to be needing two of these so pause your video now and make another one okay so now you should have two of these and now you're just going to set them aside and let's start making the charm so you're going to using double bands like always you're going to go from the first center to the second, to the first set, to the first right, and then the first middle, like that. Then you're going to be going down two on the side rows, so just do that right now. And you're also going to be going down two in the middle, too. down two and do you guys like my new layout of this video if you don't I can go back to where you can just see my loom my entire loom but I think this is a pretty good one okay so push down your bands and it should look like this then taking your yogurt color You're going to take it and go from like that. So this peg to that peg. Okay. And do the same on the other side. Okay. Like that. Then you're going to go down with yellow or a brown or the cone, whatever color of your cone. And you're going to actually be going down two also in on the side pegs in the for the for the cone part you're gonna go down the middle three times and just yes just attach it to that peg you're gonna go down one more time here then you're going to just close it up by going here to here. And if you want to add writing, just change that middle band in the center to a off color or like maybe a black for the writing or something. I don't know. But do that if you want to do that. Then you're going to be placing the cat band here. I'm wrapping it around two times because it's a fun loom band. If you want to, if you have other brands, I recommend doing um, like three or four. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm not making the sprinkles for this one. Um, if you want to make the sprinkles, add the bubble bands here. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. But here, I'll do it for you guys. So, just if you already did it, just take the band, the, the bands right here off your loom. 
and then just take the M off. I'm sorry, I'm not a very good person to explain directions. And then just take them and pull them to the diagonal, like that. And then take your bands and put them on top, on top of your sprinkle bands. like that and then you have your sprinkle bands so now we're gonna make place some holding bands and the eyes taking a single band for the fourth peg down you're gonna go here to here and pull up like so then we're gonna be making the eyes taking two blacks you're gonna wrap it on your hook three times pushing that down do the same on the same hook on the same time. Oops. It went flying. Okay. One, two, three. Then taking a single of your yogurt color and just pl pulling that over onto that band and then placing it on the second peg down like that. Spread the eyes apart. I'm sorry I'm going fast. I don't want this video to be a little short. And then there should be two little bands right there. Take that top one and pull it forward like that. Then take another color of your yogurt bands and just place it over your eyes like this. Then we're going to be adding the extensions. So you got that. Then you're going to be taking them bands and per placing it on the first peg of your side rows like that. And then taking that cap band and placing it on the third peg like that. Make sure that second peg ain't overlapping on your extensions. Do that same thing on the other side. Let me do ahead and... Do that and then take your cap band and then pull that over to the third peg. Make sure the second peg ain't overlapping on the extension. And then once you got this, you are ready to hook. So what you're going to do is go through that cap band, grab the first two bands. I'm pulling my bands down so I can see them and pull it to the original position if you were following me it should be going to the left and then take the other top two bands going through that cap band which if you were following me the right and then take the only two bands left which for me <laughs> is the middle then you're just gonna go up the middle and stop at your third peg which should be when them cross over do the same on the other side. Stop at the third peg, which should be reaching your extension and do the crossover. Or the cross, I don't know, just the cross, I guess. I'll call it the cross to the middle. Okay, so once you got that, you're going to go through your extensions, grab the first two bands, which should be going to the center. Like so, if I can... Place them on there, like that. Then, going through that extension on the same peg, pulling the two bottom bands up, which should be for going forward, and then kind of pull that extension so it doesn't get caught in there. And then, do the same for the other side. Grab them two bands, pull them over to the center. Go through that extension again, pull forward like that then you're gonna go through them all them bands in the middle and grab the bottom two which should be the the color of your yogurt band and slowly pull up so they don't break and then it should look like that and then just finish that middle up pulling it to the very first peg going to your left or right pulling it taking them top two bands pulling it up and then Taking them sprinkle bands. Now, since they're bubble bands, I gotta go very slow. Very, very slow. 
that's just me guys some some of you guys go like wham and pull them up I have to go slow releasing that tension then doing that on this other thing but I have one more to loop up so go through that and loop up and then going to them bubble bands again slowly but carefully I'm going very gently and placing it into the center okay so then it should look like this before you take it off the loom then take the color of your yogurt which mine's white I'm going through the very first peg in the middle going through them and then placing a cap band um, for the experienced loomers you know how to do this for the ones who's not what you're going to do is hold it and then put them on your loom and then just pull through the middle and then pulling up to the center of the peg which mine's kind of by the side right now but we pull that to the center okay and then just pulling then once you have all that you can take it off your loom now I actually made another video I that I made this one and I was using a strawberry I was making the strawberry actually on camera and then my bubble bands popped and I had to redo it all making this white one because I'm running out of pink bands so taking this off and this time I have my metal hook like I said in my um, slushy tutorial and actually this resembles a lot I don't know if I told you that or not I have like short term memory loss so that's why I kinda repeat myself I'm sorry um, then once you have that it should look like this and then kinda just give it a stretch mine from bloom bands like I said so and this resembles slushy like I said see I have short term I have short term memory loss oh my gosh okay. then there it is so thank you so much for watching my tutorial on how to make the frozen yogurt charm. Um, if you'd like to see more of my videos, which include my slushy, obviously, my double-sided bracelet, which was my first video, my roly-poly charm, and my baby squid charm make sure to check them out thank you so much for watching and happy looming i noticed that a lot of people say that now see ya